Hello, my name is Nora Lemon. I'm Associate Professor in Education, um, an interdisciplinary researcher in education, positive psychology and the arts. And I'm currently at Swinburne University of Technology in Melbourne, Australia, uh, where I'm also the Associate Dean Education in the School of Social Sciences, Media, Film and Education. So I'm sorry I can't join you in person or live for the panel today, uh, right now, it would be 3 a.m. for me, but I'm really delighted that I can join you from Beach Forest, a small town in the Otways, three hours from Melbourne. And as such, I wish to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land and I pay my respects, respects to the ancestors past, present and emerging. So whether you're an experienced researcher or you're just starting out, the place of creative methods is something you should really investigate. And I'm a huge advocate. I've worked with still image, moving image, visual narratives, photography, poetry, art making, drawing and collage as some of the ways to explore meaning making. And these ways can be data themselves or they can be ways to explore the data and present it. So working in this way is so rich. Uh, it's a way of sharing the voice of the participants, revealing the hidden in a context, asking hard questions and providing opportunities for participants to share in gentle ways or healing ways sometimes. And it's incredibly rewarding for yourself as well. It's naturally reflexive work and you embody the experience. So I've done this across a variety of contexts, community, social media, in schools, with educators, non-educators, in museums and galleries, with five-year-olds, and even with adults during the pandemic, for example. And what I love about creative research methods is that you can be really creative and innovative, and anyone can do it. And you don't just have to come from an arts background, really, you can come from any background at all. So a theoretical framework is at the heart and we think of the intersection of existing knowledge and previously formed ideas about complex phenomena, intersecting with the research as epistemology, and then also looking through a lens and the methodological analytical approach as well. So in this way, your methodological decisions really encompass both theory and methods in the ways that we think through the research problem um, and particularly what that means and how we do it. So in research, methodologies and theories are really used to describe the positioning of the research. So we are able to investigate in different ways and no matter what discipline you're coming from, you can be really innovative. And what we want to remember is that innovation is different to each discipline. So be careful not to compare yourself as well. So some starting out questions to consider would be what is possible? What is the purpose of your research? What question are you asking? Who do you want to work with? What's the best way to approach this research to glean meaningful data? How will the participants be involved? How do you position yourself and your research in its design and the context? How do you gather data and analyze uh, for your work in the processes? How might um, you work in regards to the data in creative ways? Or how might you present your data in different ways? And the most important question I think is what excites you? So pairing what is possible with what excites you are two really great questions. I think for any of us, whether you're experienced or you're just starting out, you're trying to figure what, out how you want to work with creative research methods are two questions that are really, really um, important for you. So creative research methods includes arts-based research, digitally mediated research, mobile methods, embodied research, mixed methods, and place-based, as well as transformative research frameworks. And what the great thing is that you can work with creative methods just independently, or you can partner them with more conventional or traditional methods as well. So... Helen and I have worked with um, Dawn Manny and Megan McPherson, and we've explored lots of these questions that I've just posed in a, in a book. Um, and hopefully uh, Helen will be able to showcase that as part of the panel. Um, and so we've explored these, we've done a whole heap of different case studies and we've looked at the what, the how, the why, and we've un investigated in ways in terms of the tips and traps as well to unpack those for you. 
But before I say goodbye, I want to leave you with two practical approaches for you to explore what creative methods might be for you. And the first one is to either take our book or perhaps someone else's project or a research report from community and have a look at what they've written and have a look in terms of what fascinates you. So search around, find, find what fascinates you because that's a great starting point. And then read through, think about their approach. How can you replicate it, work off it, bounce off it? And also think about, you know, going to their reference list as well and using that as a directory to keep on exploring. How have they developed their approach and sort of use their investigation to support you to the investigator as well. And my second tip is to open yourself up to other perspectives. So read, explore a variety of ways of working with creative methods uh, for, for different stages and think through the questions of what do you notice? How does it change your thinking? How do you consider the audience? How does it connect to your research question? How might asking particular questions in this way or presenting them in this way support uh, the impact of your research? And I really invest in, you know, taking out that butcher's paper, the sticky notes and really mapping and, and reading and working off other people and ideas and brainstorming what is possible. And really with creative methods, you can take anything and apply it. So I hope you enjoy the panel. And if you want to reach out, I'd lovely to connect with you. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Rally Pop which is R-E-L-L-Y-P-O-P-S, or you can find me by my website, which is www.exploringcreateco.com. So wishing you all the best. Sorry I couldn't be there with you and hope to connect with you all um, in the future. See you later.